All right, hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, now we've got all the technical stuff, or at least most of the technical stuff, um, out of the way and we have our site up and running and this is a fresh install of WordPress you're looking at and this is your dashboard. So I'm just gonna go through some of the things here and give you a little quick tour. And uh, first off, we're gonna clean up the dashboard a little bit. There's some things that we really don't need on here. Um, so it just makes it less confusing of what you're looking at. So I'm going to go up here to the top where it says screen options and click. And I'm going to take off at a glance. I'm taking off activity, WordPress news, and I really don't need that welcome. <clears throat> I'm also going to take please connect uh, your jetpack. I'm going to get rid of that. All right. So basically all I have is the quick draft, and that's really all I need. Um, sometimes I have drafts and they're waiting to post and I can see right here what drafts are pending. Okay, so that's done. Now we are going to look at the, um, we're going to go over the menu here. Now Jetpack um, is something that WordPress will automatically add for you and it, ha it it's a really powerful plugin that adds a lot of, um, a lot of design, a lot of, um, God, what's the word I'm looking for? It helps to design and uh, it provides d uh, functionality and design for your website. And it's like a, it's almost like five plugins in one, or almost I think like ten plugins in one. But you have to have a WordPress.com account, which you can just sign up for, um, in order to use it. Okay, so let's go over to um, Ask a Kismet. A Kismet is another plugin that WordPress now just puts up there for you. And what you're going to need to do is create an API key for it. And we're going to do that in a minute, but I'm going to just go down the line really quick um, of each area because this is not going to show all the time. Um, so let's go over to posts. Now we have posts and pages that make up a website and a blog. Now a lot of people say, well what's the difference between a website and a blog? Nowadays there really is no difference. They kind of go together. Um, at one point people only had websites. There was no interactions. They were just static pages you know, that had about me, it had your home page, it had a contact page, but there was no way to engage with the traffic or the customers or clients that came through. And and blogs came to being where it was really just people just putting their online journals and putting it online or talking about things they were passionate about and um, that was a blog and people were able to comment on what they were talking about and it got really popular to where um, the big businesses started to realize what an important factor is for having engagement with their customers so therefore now you see people with a website and a blog merged into one and that's what that is now. Basically, when I say website, I mean blog. When I say blog, I mean website. It's all the same. Um, so posts pages are what you use when you start creating your, your blog posts or you create your articles. And we're just going to go ahead and click on all posts because I think they give you a sample post. They give you hello world. We're going to click on that. Now, mind you, we don't have a theme set up yet. So let's just look at what that's going to look like on a fresh install with nothing. So when you look at the, this is considered a home page and it kind of has um, every post, it just shows all of your posts um, in order and basically every time you post, you create a post, it kind of updates to the newest post so people can find that, that newest post. So that's what that's going to look like and we're going to actually delete the hello world, we don't need that. So I am going to put that in the trash can because we don't need that. So posts are basically where you create your articles and it's how you have your engagement. People can comment on your posts. Um, you can also share it with through social media and things like that. All right, so we also, here's the add new tab. Whenever you're creating a new post, you can add new here at the top or you can click add new and then you just press your title and then you just create your post. Usually I create it in a Word doc and then I paste it in. I usually don't type it or create it in here. But we'll get into all this other stuff you see on the side here later. 
All right, and then we have our categories uh, pages. Categories um, are basically what it means. It's categorizing your posts so that they're definable for not only the people that come to your site, but also it's for SEO reasons because when the Google bots come and they search your site, they want to see what it what's it about. Um, they go through your categories as as a as a way of doing that, and we'll go over that in another um, tutorial about how you're going to create your categories. All right, and then we have tags. Um, I usually don't use tags. Um, there's a when you create your posts on the right hand side column, there's an area to add tags. I don't really mess with, um, and this is not tag. Having a tags tab is not. Um, in every theme so it's you may not see it you may see it in some themes you may not see it I know in my personal theme there's you don't have a tabs a tags tab okay let's go down to media the media library um, once you start getting images they are going to be um, uh, added here so that you have a library of all of the images that you download to create your account and create your your posts Okay, now we go to pages. Now pages are what websites. When we talk about a website, you think of pages because they're static. You create a page, you create a home page that's static. You're not really going to have people commenting on it. You just are telling people about you and your company. Um, then you have your about me page. Same same thing. You're telling people about who you are. People are not really engaging with that page. Those pages don't don't change. They're tabs in your on your menu bar. And they pretty much stay the same, and of course, unless you change something manually. But um, so that's the difference between posts and pages. Pages are static, posts are not, and they're constantly changing as every time you create a post. So you can add new at the top also, and it looks pretty much the same as when you're posting. <coughs> and then um, you can add it from this tab here. Okay, so let's go down to the comments area. The comments are basically where your, and I'm sorry, my computer's thinking, so it hasn't caught up yet to the comments, but basically your comments area is where you're going to be notified of any comments on any of your blog posts. So wherever you have a, a comment on your post, you're going to, you'll find them here and you'll be able to either, you know, uh, accept them or you'll be able to, uh, if they're pending, if they're spam, if they're trash, you can handle all that in your comments area. The marketplace, this is a plugin. We're going to get rid of these two because you don't really need them. Um, this is the appearance tab, and the appearance tab is all about the appearance of your website. It's going to um, have your theme area. You'll be able to customize it. You're going to be able to add widgets, your menus, your header, your background, everything associated with the design of the front end of your blog is in the appearance tab. Okay, so let's click on over to the plugins. <coughs> area. Um, WordPress now adds some really important plugins um, and some non-essential plugins. We are going to uh, do a quick bulk action here and <coughs> let's see here we're gonna get rid of we're gonna keep a kismet we're gonna get rid of hello dolly we're getting rid of hostgator we're gonna keep jetpack we're getting rid of mojo marketplace mojo marketplace um, why is that too? I don't know. Uh, short codes. All of these Mojo marketplaces we do not need. And we're just going to delete those. And we'll just wait for the computer. Oh, I have to hit apply. You add delete and then you hit apply. All right. And then it's going to say, Are you sure you want to delete Mojo files? We, we say yes. Okay. So we clean that up a bit. Now. <clears throat> Oh yeah, HostGator, we want to get rid of that too. <clears throat> so now we have Kismet and we have now Kismet is your spam um, settings and it's really important that you set this up. We're not going to do it in this video, I just really want to go over uh, your dashboard really quick, but we'll go over that in the next uh, in the next video. Okay, so let's go into we have users here. Usually you're just going to be the only user, but if you want to add users, you can do that under this tab as well. If you have maybe um, guest bloggers that you uh, assign a role to as administrator, you can do that. And then we have your particular profile that you want to go in. 
and um, configure. So basically you can choose the colors of the dashboard if you want. If you want to change the colors up, you know, I'll click here and we'll change that up a bit. Or maybe I like coffee. Or maybe I like sunrise. No, I don't think I like sunrise. How about midnight. I like midnight. Okay. So I'm keeping midnight. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, and configuring the visual editor. You're going to add your name, information, username that doesn't change. You can't change the username. I'm going to add my first name, my last name, nickname will keep the same. However, I want it capital. Oops. There we go. We have our email, and we can add the website, which is already on here. So I can't use my, this has my other website information, so um, just ignore this. This isn't really important until you uh, start to get more websites. So then we have the about yourself, and you can put a quick uh, short bio. You want to fill these in for SEO purposes. It's really important that you have everything kind of filled in and if you need to change your password just remember it's under user under your profile so if you need to change up your password you can do so and then you're just gonna hit update profile alright so then we have the tools area and that's not something that I'm really I use very often so you're probably not going to use the tools area and has avail available tools you can import and export um, when you start to get more advanced with your website and maybe you have some designs that you want to export to other websites um, you can use your import and export or if there's other documents you want to import and export you can use that um, I don't use that too much um, I have a theme that offers the import export tool alright and then the last one let's go over to the settings area the settings is really important we have the general settings tab we want to make sure we have our site title and we want to have a quick tagline so let's see I'm mobile television it's fictional I do have a channel but we're just gonna make up a um, okay and then our, our URL is now, see, I understand why this is not letting me. Oh, WordPress URL. Why is that? Why is. Oh, wait, hold on. Why is this not letting me type in there? So, for whatever reason, I'm not able to type in these areas. It's obviously so awesome when it comes when I'm trying to do a tutorial. But, anyways, just ignore that usually you'll have your site details or you'll be able to um, d type in your t your site information there your website address alright there again is your email um, membership um, just leave that as um, just leave that blank don't do any you don't need to do anything with that um, you leave all this blank this usually should configure with the date but if it looks like it's not in your time format you can come down here and you can format that um, week starts on Monday. We might as well just keep that the same. And of course, your site language, mine is English. So we're just going to go ahead and save that. And we'll go over to the writing tab. <clears throat> and this is how your categories will look. It always has an uncategorized. But if you say, if you have a category like um, beauty is your main category, you can, and you've already created a categories list, you can choose where you want your default category to fall on. So right now it's just on, on uh, categorized. Standard post formats, they have different formats. Um, they have gallery, video, quotes, just keep it at standard then to make things simple. Um, this you would just leave blank. I wouldn't mess around with that and all of this here you can just leave blank as well they do have um, IP or uh, ping sites that you can add here and we'll do that in another tutorial so we'll just save changes
All right, and the next tab is our reading tab when your people are reading your posts or your site. So here is where things get interesting. You have um, as your front or your home page, you can even either have it as your latest post, so it'll be a roll of all your latest posts, or they call it a blog roll, or a static home page. Um, I prefer to have a static home page where I can let people know what the site is about and I can get really creative with that and we'll go over how to set that up in, an, in the, another tutorial right now we're just gonna leave that blank and we'll just leave it as your latest posts um, then if if you're if you're choosing your latest posts or even if you're not you want to have set up how many posts you want to show per page it's default at 10 you can reduce it by you know hitting this little button here um, so you basically can leave this at, leave this as is and then when you go in to look at your site and decide if you want to change it you can do so um, if you want your blog to have a summary like a little summary as as opposed to the whole full article on your homepage blog roll you can choose that I'm gonna choose summary and then here you want to make sure since we're still in uh, design mode we're not ready to launch so when you're in the reading section of your settings tab you want to hit search and visibility and click Distur discourage search engines from indexing this site and the reason why we want to do that is because it's not ready yet there's nothing here yet so we don't want the search engines to crawl your site and index it yet okay so then we're gonna go ahead and save changes and just remember that's under the set under settings under the reading tab so when you are ready to launch you can uncheck that that space alright so now let's head over to the discussion tab they have a lot of these already set for you. There's some a little bit of um, uh, different opinions about whether or not if you want to use WordPress's um, default comments for your um, for your blog post. Sometimes they say it's not very SEO friendly. It's not really good for your SEO. You should probably use a plugin for that, which I you know I kind of agree. Um, but let's just go down the line real quick. It's going to ask you what your default article settings. So, you, do you want people? Do you want to attempt to notify any blog linked to f any blogs linked to from the article? Do you want to click that? I do not right now. Um, allow link notification from other blogs. I do not want to do that. Um, other comment settings. Uh, comment author must fill out name and email. Um, yeah, I think I would want that. That way um, they can also get a little SEO juice whenever they comment on the blog. Users must be registered and logged in. Uh, no, that's too much of a hassle. Automatically co close comments on articles older than 14 days. I would leave that. Enable threaded nesting comments. I would leave that. Break comments into pages of 50 top level comments per page. I would just leave that. And comments should be displayed with the older comments at the top or do you want the newer comments so that's preference um, I think I would like to ha I prefer newer comments at the top alright anybody can post a comment yeah uh, a comment is held for moderation um, I would say in the beginning no but uh, as you start to grow an audience you might want to come back and change that before a comment appears comments must be manually approved that takes too much time so I wouldn't do that um, comment author must have a previously approved comment yeah you can leave that and then um, if you do choose the comment moderation it just how many days do you want it to be held in the queue um, and then if you have any whitelisted and this is uh, once again once you get some more traffic and you start getting more visitors to your site people are commenting people maybe you get some people who are undesirable and maybe they're putting words in here that you do not want shown and you can add those here to this little area and white and uh, I don't know blacklist or whitelist them this is the blacklist I'm sorry <clears throat> these are the words that you want held in moderation just in case but I would I haven't had a problem with this so um, I wouldn't worry about this but this is the blacklist one once you start getting people that maybe emails or sites or IP addresses that you find people are giving you a hard time on your comments you can add that here and that'll blacklist them um, what do you want your avatars to look like um, show avatars yes um, we want it to be g-rated SEO would prefer you to have g-rated we don't have any adult audiences uh, above uh, below 17 
Um, and if we do, they're not going to be offended and their parents are going to get pissed off in any ways either. Um, you can choose uh, how you want that avatar to show up by clicking on any one of these and then we'll just go ahead and save changes. Alright, let's go down to the last two tabs. We have the media tab. The media tab you will probably just leave as is. So I wouldn't mess with that right now unless you show issues with your image sizes. But just leave that at, as is. And then we have the permalinks. Permalinks are very important. And what you want to do here is you want to choose the custom structure. Okay, so for whatever reason, I'm having difficulties in typing and anything showing up, so I'll try and come back to this. Um, so you're going to leave, we're, we're going to add a custom structure, and I'll do that in another post, maybe so I can check out why it's, when I'm typing it's not showing up. And just ignore this here, and then just save changes. Okay, so that is pretty much it with the tour of your dashboard. Um, in our next video, we are going to talk about some of the plugins that we want to add, and uh, we got rid of some of them, but we're going to add a few more.